Hi, I'm Mark Thompson. I'm from Lennox Head, Australia, and this is my Crypt MT5 Surf Mat. This is the fifth generation in the MT series, and the Crypt MT5 has a few very special features that makes it unique amongst surf craft. The mat has a, a, a beautiful fluid amplification curve, and the formula for, for, for dynamic lift is as the speed of a fluid increases, pressure decreases. It also has a beautiful blueprinted concave to help with speed. Now there are a few secrets to riding a surf mat. One is to, to de deflate them. And the Crypt MT5 has a unique self-sealing one-way valve, which allows for very accurate control of your inflation. Now when you're learning to ride a mat, start at 90 degrees where you feel it firm. For more advanced mat riding, softer inflations. So as a rule of thumb, the softer you go, the faster it is. The more control you want, the harder, the more inflation you use. But as you get better, you, you know, more experienced riders like to run the lower inflations for the maximum speed, and then through technique of squeezing and grabbing and tweaking the mat, you can control your inflation. So the surf mat is unique amongst all surf crafts because it's, it's, it's potentially the fastest surf craft on earth, which is a paradox. <laughs> because by itself, the surf mat is just a bag of air, it's going to blow away in the wind. So what makes the surf mat fast? Your mass, your density, you're the catalyst that turns this mat into one of the surf, fastest surf craft on earth. The mat being a fabric has the ability to move with the fluid environment on a wave. So any bumps or any ir ir irregularities in the wave face, the mat is like a shock absorber. It's a ch -ch -ch -ch. You can soak it up and change and correct its shape. And it's the ultimate in a flexible form of surf craft. Okay, the, the other unique aspect of the surf mat, it has the potential to tap the hidden wave energy underneath the water inside the wave that you cannot sense or detect on a solid object on a bodyboard or on a surfboard. On the mat, you know, it's the same principle when you watch a dolphin gliding through that water. It's not pumping its tail, it's not, it's locked into that pure fall line and every wave has a perfect line of energy. And when you ride the mat, you learn to tap that line and sense where that line is and when you lock into it, it's like getting shot out of a cannon and the, the mat can, it can amplify fluid and amplify speed at such a rate, it's unbelievable. It's a, it's a form of auto acceleration and, it, and it's just, the surf mat's just unique to the human nervous system. As you're running across that water, all those little vibrations are vibrating in your body and you're feeling all this energy get rush, rushing through you. And so there's like two effort, you know, in Newton's law of relativity is every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So we've got gravity pulling us down. But no one ever talks about the force that lifts you up to how you superconduct with a wave. And I call it, that's the joy. When you're on that mat and you feel that burst of joy coming through and you just go, when you feel that acceleration coming from nowhere with no rider input. You're not flapping it, you're not pushing it, you're not wiggling it or jumping on it, you're just laying there and the mat just takes off. It's just, it's, it's, it's hard to put words to the feeling because it's such a unique experience. And it's sort of like watching an owl, uh, one of the pelicans and they come down, they put their wings down and they lock onto that, that glide and they just do that pure speed glide. You see them, it's just a, it's a supernatural and a, a pure experience and it's, um, it really hooks you into the natural forces and rhythms of the planet and the ocean. Okay, welcome to the world of riding a jellyfish. <laughs> riding a mat is a new experience because you've never had something this soft and flexible before to use, you know, to ride. So there's a few little simple techniques that you need to know to um, get over that learning, that hump, and a few basic skills. Number one, when you come off a mat, you're in the water, you're up to your neck. Come to the back of the mat, give it a squeeze, big kick with your legs, and up you come to get back on. And it's the same principle for duck diving. Duck diving can be a little bit tough because you've got a big bag of air. So again, you've never had fabric this soft before on a surf mat, so it's easy to get a big fistful of material, you know, you're on the mat, pull your elbows in, get a big, make a big sausage, push it down, and kick and punch through. You know, a lot of times you'll get bumped off, again, come to the back of the mat, make it tight, pull it tight, big kick, up and on. A surf mat, it's a beautiful experience when you're in the water. 
you know, and, and the surf mat's just fantastic training for your body because you're just in the water and it's, you're just bobbing up and down and it's soft and it puts a beautiful sense of peace through your whole body being in, with nature and just, and it's sort of like surf yoga in a way because the mat's so soft, it just, it's always keeping your body soft. And so when I go for a wave, I like to slide right off the back of the mat, you know, with my arms straight and I just give it a little bit of a push on the front. And I slide right off the back and I do a real high speed flutter kick and I really drive the mat up to speed. As soon as I feel I've got it, I just jump my weight up to the top and your chin normally goes just about where the, where the logo is. And another thing when you're learning, people tend to ride the mat like this and try and steer it with two big fistfuls of material. That's the wrong way to do it. You just want your hands up on top. To go right, you sort of drop your hip in, just give it a little push. If you get a little bit better, you start giving it a little bit of a lift here. And then as you get better, you'll learn to start squeezing that corner and giving it a lift, or pull that elbow in, and you can really drive some big, powerful carving turns. Same when you want to come back, just drop your hip in, give a little bit of squeeze here. You can, this is almost like an accelerator sometimes. You just get fingertip control, just pull that a little bit, and the, the mat will just rail up and pull a beautiful power arc.